much, Amina. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, for directions, uh, Mary Apollo uh, for the invitation, as well as uh, Dr. Daniel for Team 54 Project, who's also one of my mentors uh, for the invitation and just putting this wonderful platform together. This is this platform is actually very timely, especially that the, the Summit of the Future is approaching just right around the corner next week. And a lot of the young leaders on this platform, I believe, are going to be attending either in person or online. And we were recently in, in Nairobi, Kenya, uh, back in May uh, for the UN Civil Society uh, Conference, uh, where we had the opportunity to build the coalitions for the Pact of the Future. So a lot of us were instrumental in 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 just the coalitions and at the just to be part of the foundational work of the Pact of the Future before um before the summit of the future, which where all the, the member states and key stakeholders are going to come together and agree on 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 key uh, uh, resolutions that should be on the pact of the future for especially for young people for for future generations, which is so important. Uh, just to sort of like answer your your question, I think you're asking your question on uh, on how does the 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 AU uh, how does that how can that how do they play. AU and in, in in regards to my 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 experience with, with a lot of uh with the a, with the AU the UN and and how can can we play a, a meaningful a role in solving global challenges I think it's connecting to technology if I'm correct just remind me again if I'm not like I'm sure I'm not missing anything. You're right on course, please, Louisiana. Please go on. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, thank you so much. Um, first and foremost, uh, I think young people, uh, especially African youth, we actually uh are, we we make up the largest uh populations in in the continent. So young people uh have a huge role to play in terms of of, of addressing global challenges, and we are key stakeholders. And and when uh you uh, Afri when multilateral um uh, agencies like the the or intergovernmental agencies like the African Union and the UN, when they're they're putting up uh, a resolutions to to tackling global challenges, um, they cannot do it without including the without the inclusion of uh, without the inclusion of, of of young people, and we are actually very instrumental to to that process. And and the Pact of the Future, even just overall, you know, can empower uh, a young Africans, even especially like young women as as a, as a young a female leader in the continent by especially in, uh, fostering inclusive policies uh, that will prioritize, especially where we're in, we're discussing the topic of technology. So that will prioritize technological innovation and, and sustainable development. And what I mean being inclusive is, you know, just ensuring that the young people are involved, ensuring that marginalized communities, women and girls, persons with disabilities are involved. If we're talking about Pact of the Future, even when you break down, you're, we're looking at the, the different clauses uh, from the global compact to peace and security to even just technology and, and so many other of the thematic areas, young people have to be to, to be um, involved because you can't have a conversation without, because as much as we are we are, we are we're bearing the brunt of a lot of those impacts. We are also a key agent uh, 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 to addressing those challenges. And and the Pact of the Future could uh, further skill, uh, you know, our initiatives by even mobilizing resources and you know creating cross border opportunities for young people in in emerging tech sectors uh, such as AI. You know, AI right now we've it has been so instrumental, and and we cannot uh, 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 diminish that. We, we we cannot take that for granted, especially in the continent. The continent is evolving. It's um and the continent has a lot of potential. As much as I always say in a lot of my interventions, as much as you know, AI is so um important, um, especially for providing jobs and uh providing uh and also helping with economic development, we also have to ensure that it doesn't become a threat to the continent. But AI is so important, renewable energy and agri-tech, and young people are also uh, uh, uh you know, are able to are key drivers to to ensuring the implementation of of, of a lot of that a lot in a lot of those uh, factors that I mentioned, and even in terms of like even at the 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 grassroots level when we're talking about technology technology, um, you know, it's so important for women uh, to have access to technology, have access to 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 tech, 
uh, uh, because uh, even in, for small business, for agro farmers, uh, for 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 small for 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 women, uh, for women that are, are that are in that are entrepreneurs, for for SMEs, right? Uh, tech technology is so important because if we're we're doing transfers of of if if, if they have to to trade um if, if they need to even have access to 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 banking mobile apps like it's so so much important and and I just even wanted to give an example of how uh, a young Africans or even young female uh, leaders uh are already contributing to to global challenges uh and especially like in agri tech I was again I mentioned that like, I was recently. In, in Kenya, and I learned about uh, this initiative called, uh, I was attending the Pan-African uh, Youth Convention, and I, I, I got familiar with this uh, initiative called Twigger Foods, uh, and it's, it's actually a youth-led, uh, and it's, which is using mobile-based uh, platforms to connect farmers to, market, uh, to markets, uh, and also to help reduce uh, food waste and improving food insecurity, food security. And for those of you that are not, let me just break down uh, uh, what Twiga Foods is because it's, it's, a, it's a local project in Nairobi, and 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 you know, uh, and it's it's a Kenyan-based uh, technology company uh, that operates in in mobile platform connecting farmers to vendors, and and the also platforms allow smallholder farmers to sell like fresh products. Uh, I mean, fruits, vegetables, those type of things, and directly connecting them, you know, to urban retailers and markets, streamlining the the supply chain. So I think those are great example, uh, and also uh, and, and as well as the fact of the future also can, the fact of the future also can uh, also help us build uh build uh, uh, successes by ensuring that. Uh, young people, you know, uh, ensuring that you know we're we're act especially young leaders, we're active participants in in decision making processes, not only at the multilateral space, but at at the regional stage, the the national stage, uh, sub regional stage, right? And 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 young people, you know, we can contribute in developing policies on on climate change because climate change, climate mitigation is is so much connected to 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 it has a there's a huge um interconnectedness between climate change and technology uh even in even in terms of driving tech uh, uh driven solutions uh when we're talking about like solar power renewable energy uh uh, uh you know even to help out you know uh in in agriculture to to make that more efficient uh and even to help reduce environmental impacts uh so i i would say uh i think those are those are my submissions and and lastly uh i would like also like to share that uh in 20 there's a data uh that shows uh that by, by 2050 uh, renewable energy uh could meet uh 50 percent of africa's energy needs uh, positioning the continent as a leader in global green transition. So even when we're, we're thinking about uh, what's going to be, what uh, uh, African Union leaders, uh, leaders at, at the AU, at the UN, those are some of the things that they should be considering already and how young people can play a key role in, in some of those uh, in, in initiatives. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Lizzie. And uh, I think you've even answered my second question. That was a beautiful suggestion, you know, and my second question was, I mean, you can still answer this, you know, how the pact of the future, the pact for the future, you know, can empower young Africans to contribute meaningfully to solving global challenges through technology and sustainable development. So maybe you want to say something extra to what you've already said. I don't know, but yeah, that's 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 my second question to you. Yeah, absolutely. And just even just to add on to my question, um, it's that uh, the 2030 agenda, it's already at the midpoint, even already past midpoint of 20 agenda. It's expiring in five years, honestly. And the pact of the future, it's, it's I, I see it as a, a new model to be able to, just because honestly, the the, the twenty thirty agenda, I, I, sorry to say this, but it's a failed agenda. Uh, and then when we're talking about the Af we're talking about the continent, we have the twenty sixty three. Uh, we have the 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 African Union agenda twenty sixty three as well, right? And that's like in how many years? So the Pact of the Future um is going to help, especially you know we 
different key stakeholders that are that have different frameworks that we're all looking up to. But I think it's a it's a great agenda. It's a great model to help us to think about future generations and how when we're talking about young leaders, young leaders we're not we're not just the leaders of 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 today, but we're also leaders of tomorrow, and we are the 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 next leaders of of tomorrow. So we need to start creating different models and and mechanisms and structures that will be able to to position the future generations. Um, and right now, uh, when we're thinking about current leaders right now, so how can they prepare us, our generation, right, to take over? What platforms, what uh, uh, mechanisms are they putting in place? What resolutions are put in place so that in a couple of years from now, this generation is being included in decision-making processes. We're included when we're, it talks about even resource mobilization, us having, having access to resource, us being inclusive when we're talking about even gender responsive uh, 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 policies, gender sensitive policies, how are youths being included? How are women and girls being included? How are indigenous persons being included? Uh, so I think uh, the Pact of the Future, especially the, uh, the, 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 the clause on, on future generations is so crucial, especially pertaining to us young people on, on how we can be those key agents to participating and how we're not going to be left out and, and how we can be a part of it uh, throughout, how we can be part of be the process and how we can also uh, share policy recommendations to to our future and not just uh, policymakers just sitting on a table and making decisions on our behalf about our future, but how we can sit at those tables as well and say, this is what we want. And that's also part of the participatory approach, right? Um, not making just decisions about ourselves, but seeing how we can be involved in and telling them that this is what we want because this is what our challenge this is what our challenges are this is what we face on a daily basis you know we have the statistics we have the data and we're conducting needs assessment so this is uh, and how we would like to to make things happen so thank you